to me now for more on the prevalence of this crime is Urshad Manji. She teaches moral courage at New York University and is the best-selling author of Allah, Liberty and Love on how faith and freedom can be reconciled. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. I just want to look at this term, honour killings. How did that come about? What does it mean? What does it say about the cultural background to this crime? Right. Well, the word honor sounds very honorable to Western ears, uh, but what we in this part of the world mean by honor is the dignity of the individual. But there are other parts of the world, and you've just named them, in which honor is seen as being about the group and about the reputation of the group. And this kind of honor is found, for example, in Arab tribal areas, where women are told that they are the carriers of shame for the entire family. So that if a woman under the code of honor is seen to be, or even accused of being, uh, immoral, accused of shaming, then it's not just she that is being shamed by herself because she carries the reputation of the wider family see she, she is seen to be shaming a much bigger group so that the punishment against her has to compensate that wider group and that is why in cases like this murder is perceived to be acceptable by the parents and it's so irrational when you put it like that as well but it does seem to be on the up or are we just reporting it more it's hard to say, Max. Uh, we hope, of course, that it's not on the up, but the fact of the matter is that over the last many, many years, uh, media have under-reported this phenomenon. And so uh, I think with a heightened awareness about these stories, um, you know, in various parts of the world, more and more people are beginning to see that all cultural differences are not to be celebrated, that just because something happens in the name of culture does not mean that it must be embraced. And certainly even here in New York, where I teach young people, a lot of them come into my classroom not knowing that they're permitted to criticize other people's cultures and not just their own. And we have to be willing to criticize if we're going to uh, defend the universality of human rights. Ashad Manji, as ever, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the program.